Just kidding, my name is Matthew and today we'll be talking about plant morphology and what it is. So join us on our adventure as we, we begin to look at shapes of plants. Plant morphology is defined as the study of the physical form and structures of plants. We can look at the origins of the root word morphology, with morph being from the Greek meaning uh, shape, and ology coming from Latin meaning the study of, essentially. And so what this is, is this is basically the study of the shape of the plant and how it's arranged. Now, Often colloquially, we refer to morphology as the study of both external and internal structures of plants. But there's another term called plant anatomy, which is exclusively the study of the internal structures of plants, usually at the microscopic level. So if we are talking about plant morphology, that could be anything on the inside or outside of the plant. And this is referring to the shape and arrangement um, an overall form of the plant. Anatomy refers to the internal arrangement and shape of the plant, usually at the cellular level. So, plant morphology includes the term plant anatomy, but plant anatomy does not include the term plant morphology. Disciplines from sociology all the way to quantum physics have specific words or phrases to concisely describe things in that field. This specialized technical language is called jargon. Now, jargon is very abundant in plant morphology because we need a word to describe every single different type of shape or detail about the plant. And so as we go forward, we're going to have a lot of jargon. But it's important to encounter it so that we really know what we're doing. It will be important for describing things concisely. So. We're going to go forward and we're going to use jargon, but for the time being, we need to make sure we uh, attack it head on. The first thing we need to know is that plants are made up of two main parts. We have the root section, which are underground, and then we have the shoot section, which is everything above the ground. Usually these things are photosynthetic. So that's, that's the two basic parts about plants. You have the roots and you have the shoots. So we know that plants are made of roots and shoots, and then there's subcategories underneath these. The root is comprised of the primary root and the lateral roots that come off of the primary root. If we're dealing with grasses or ferns, they have a different type of root that's called a fibrous root. And we'll take a look at these in a second. So roots are made of two things. You got primary root and lateral root. And if you're a grass or a fern, you have these weird little fibrous roots. They're not weird, but they're different. Now, if we have shoots, we have a thing called a phytomer. So shoots are made of phytomers. The phytomer is comprised of the node, the leaf, the axillary bud, and then the internode. So these are the main parts of the plant, and everything else is a variation on that theme. So we can learn these core components, and we can basically understand all of plant morphology. Here we have a picture of a primary root with lateral roots coming off of it. These lateral roots are kind of uh, like branches that come off of this main root. Sometimes this primary root might be called the tap root, and in some instances, like uh, dandelions and carrots, you'll have a primary root that is a thick tap root. Now, in the instance of grasses and ferns, we have a thing called the fibrous root, where there isn't a single dominant root that is, you know, like the primary root. Um, we have a bunch of small ones that kind of form like a little net, a web that uh, search through the soil. 
And so the purpose of the root is to maintain structural support and to acquire water and nutrients for the plant. Um, and so if we understand this basic structures, then we can figure out how roots work. But the thing is, with plant morphology, we normally don't look at the roots to identify the plants or to understand the plants. So the important thing is really the shoots. So going forward, we're only gonna be discussing shoots. Sorry, roots. Okay, so if we look at the shoot, we say it's made of a thing called a phytomer. And this is a repeating unit of uh, four things. So we said it was our, our, our uh, node, our leaf, our axillary bud, and our internode. Now, in the diagram here, we see that there's a node. A node is basically the section where you have a leaf and an axillary bud. And then there's a little stick with a, fa a flat part. That's the whole thing is called the leaf. At the base of the leaf is a little bump called an axillary bud. This little bump can grow out into a big branch. Right now it's, it's considered dormant um, and so it's not growing. And then we have a thing called an internode. So the internode is a space between the nodes. So the node is where the leaf connects to this, this uh, shoot. And then we have at the base of the leaf, we have our axillary bud. The purpose of the shoot is to provide food for the plant and it is also to reproduce. So the plant will undergo a step of changing from vegetative growth to reproductive growth. So in short, the purpose of the shoot is to produce food and to reproduce. All right, so here is a diagram of everything we've talked about so far put together under one plant. We have our shoot system, which is on top. It has our phytomere with the node and the leaf and axillary meristem and internode. And then we, on the bottom, we have our root system, which is comprised of our primary root and the lateral roots. The next thing we need to talk about is the apical meristems. So uh, at the very top or, in, you know, in the shoot, it might be at the top, uh, the plant will be growing. The thing that is where the plant is growing is called, is called the apical meristem. So there's one in the shoot and there's one in the root. So we have the shoot apical meristem, which is the primary growing point in the shoot where most of the plants can be growing up. And we have the root apical meristem, which is where most of the root is growing um, in the meristem, there are some cells called totipotent cells. These are like stem cells, uh, like uh, they, they can become whatever they need to be. That's what that means. Uh, so we have our shoot apical meristem and our root apical meristem. In the shoot apical meristem, if it gets cut off, then the axillary meristem or axillary bud, same thing, those will grow out. So that's what those are. Next thing we need to talk about is the pedial. So on the leaf, there's like that flat part that's called the lamina, and there's like the stick. Some plants have this stick, this is called the pedial. So the lamina, the big flat part that's green, and the stick, the whole thing is the leaf. So the stick is called the pedial, um, that's important to know. So what defines a leaf is that at the base of the leaf, you're gonna have an axillary meristem or axillary bud. And so if, there is not an axillary meristem at the base of the leaf, then it's not a leaf. Uh, that's the definition of a leaf. Next thing we need to talk about is what is a stem? Well, the stem is all of the node and all of the internode. Kind of simple. It's just that whole thing that has node and internode. And then lastly, we need to discuss the cotyledon. So the cotyledon is the first leaf-like thing that comes out. Sometimes they're called embryonic leaves or baby leaves and um, cotyledons are not true leaves because what defines a true leaf is at the base of the leaf, at the node, is gonna be an axillary meristem. So in the cotyledons, there's not an axillary meristem there, therefore they're not true leaves. They're usually photosynthetic tissue um, that has a different shape than the true mature leaf. So in our diagram here, uh, they look like little hearts while the mature leaves look different. And so that's something to keep in mind if you're, you're growing plants, you know, the cotyledons are not true leaves and they'll have different morphologies and shapes than the actual leaves. All right, so in our diagram here, we can see all of the key components of a plant. 
including what a leaf is, including the petiole, uh, axillary meristem, our node, internode, um, stem, apical meristems, and then our roots, which we don't really need to discuss at this point. Moving on. So, if we understand this basic general layout of the plant, then we will be able to understand how all plants grow because everything is a variation off of this theme. Next time, we will be discussing all the different variations of, of stems and leaves and the arrangement of stems and leaves and branches and uh, all the possibilities. Yeah.